Hi guys, Danny Crouch here. Uh, once again, wanted to share a bit of insight with you. Um, I will probably start talking about uh, this topic quite uh, often. Uh, it's about listening and learning to listen. Um, I'm on a bit of a, a challenge or a, or a hunt uh, to improve my listening skills. Really important to me and I've learned a lot of stuff about uh, my wife, uh, her kids, and a lot of friends uh, about listening to them and, and actually listening to what they've got to say and actually listening to myself. Uh, I've done a couple of posts about this before. What we've actually started doing, uh, myself and Nick, is uh, we walk every day. We do about an hour and a half exercise. Our health is, has become a top priority of ours. And we walk around our island. We live on an island. Uh, we don't own the island. It's, it's, it's called Chevron Island on the surface paradise. There's um, houses and units everywhere. Uh, we walk around the island. It takes about half an hour. And quite often we're competing with each other on who can talk and who can interrupt and who can ask questions and all this sort of stuff. So what we've decided to do through my um, quest to listen better and, and find better listening skills is um, one of us will not talk while the other one talks around the island. So one day it's I won't talk and she'll talk. The next day I'll talk and she won't talk. So we're actually getting in tune with each other. So it only goes for 30 minutes, it's a set time. I thought the idea might be to try and do it for a day or if we do it for six hours, but, but I'm finding at the moment that half an hour is a really good time. Now, uh, we've done that yesterday and today. Yesterday I spoke and I spoke and spoke. I, I spoke for almost the 30 minutes. And uh, I, tend, I used to find that if we did that walk, I'd, I'd speak for generally 20, 25 minutes and Nick would only talk for five or 10. Well, today uh, she did the talking and I did the listening. And she actually did 30 minutes of full-on solid listening. And I loved it. It was really interesting to find out her thoughts. She would even go through it as we were walking around. Wow, I can't believe I've got so much to say. Now, I take a lot of responsibility for that because I used to speak over her. Um, I still do a little bit. I'm not perfect. I haven't mastered this yet. But uh, I used to interrupt. I used to ask a lot of questions. And again, I still do. Uh, but I'm working on that. I'm working on becoming a better listener. I want to become a better communicator. So this is what we're doing. Tomorrow, we're actually both going to be quiet and we're both just going to walk around and enjoy the silence. What we've actually been doing, uh, well, I do it more than, than Nick was yesterday. Today, I was still making a conscious effort to wave to anyone that walked past. I would get a response from them. Some would say hi. Some would, some would you know, ignore us. It actually evoked Nick to say hi. Um, I didn't say hi once because I was being quiet. I wasn't being rude by any means, but the other people didn't see that because I was waving and smiling, so they got that response. Um, really, really interesting. Now, the next step I wanna to talk to you about is, is real listening and whether or not you have the ability to listen really well. As I said, I'm still learning about it. Um, there's a few different ways of listening and let me explain why. Uh, a lot of us think that listening is just keeping quiet and not saying anything. Well, let me explain this to you. If I'm just listening, how do I know what my screen is there and the barbecue is there behind the window and I can see the boat going by in the water? I'm not actually listening 100% because I'm seeing all these things in my peripheral vision. What I do in a coaching session is I look deeply into those eyes or if I'm on the phone, I just surround myself with absolute darkness and I don't mean a dark room. I mean I focus on one point and all I can see is that point because I wanna get in tune with what that person's even saying. So that's another level of listening. Now, a lot of people say, oh yeah, that's fair enough. That's a, that's a pretty good level of listening to, to, to focus solely on one thing. What a lot of people forget about is the little voice inside the head. The little voice asking questions going, oh, what did she mean there? Or what was she saying there? Oh, hang on, I need to interrupt that. We wanna break that pattern by talking about what they're talking about. And I find this still, when I walk around the island listening to Nick, my mind starts wandering and capturing something she said and starts thinking about a different idea. And I'm getting better at this. Uh, the, the time it takes me to, to, to focus on those things and think about those things, I'm actually not listening to what she's saying. So when I come back and snap out of it, she's saying something or asking me a question, I'm like, oh, hang on, I didn't actually catch what she said. It was embarrassing, I couldn't say anything, but I'm, not, I'm gonna get over that because I realize that that's something I've gotta work on. So it's about softening that voice and just purely working solely on that person. Interesting thing, um, a lot of friends know what I do and a lot of people, once they get to find out what I, what I do, uh, human behavior coach, I study human behavior. I'm an expert in human behavior. I love language, I love learning about people. I challenge myself every day to become a better person, to become a professional human being. 
um, people will come up to me and say, look, I, I hear what you're doing and I, I love the sound of it and, and it looks like you really enjoy what you do. I, I, I feel like I really want to be a part of that. What can I do to improve myself? And I have a bit of a sneak or uh, a snuck, uh, oh, what's the word? I can't even think of the word. I fancy that, me being speechless. I have a bit of a chuckle and I think to myself, should I say it, should I not? And I actually asked them, I said, look, you know, do you really want to know? Because I'm happy to tell you, do you really want to know? Because I've got to get them excited. I've got to get them wanting to know this little thing that I suggest. And they say, yeah, 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 I really want to know. So, you know, do you mind a little bit of colorful language? And they're, no, not at all, not at all. All right, I'll tell you one thing, and then I'll walk away and you won't hear from me again until the next time we meet. Are you happy with that? Yep, yep, okay. And I'll leave this with you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs>